hey, what's up? Just another set theory proof. Uh, let's go through it. So proof. We have to prove that uh, A set minus B intersected with B is equal to the empty set, right? So let's just do it. Let's just write down what this means, and we're just gonna, we're just gonna show um, it's equal to the empty set. Let's try it. So we have A, A set minus B intersection B. So what is that? Well, it's the set of all X such that, and let's just use the definition of intersection, right? So if something's in the intersection, it means it's in both sets. That means X is in this set, so X is in A set minus B. Intersection means and, so and X is in B. So it's in both, it's in both sets, right? Both sets. Um, okay, so what does this mean? So let's go ahead and write that down. This is X such that, well, if X is in A set minus B, that means X is in A and it's not in B. So this means X is in A, and x is not in B, right? And then we still have this statement here that x is in B. So again, the first step was to use the definition of intersection, right? So um, if this set is the set of all x, such that x is in this element and it's in this element, boom, there it is. Then we use the definition of uh, set difference, right? If x is in A set minus B, that means it's in A and it's not in B. And so we, well, now we have the statement. And now you see the statement is completely ridiculous because we're saying x is in B, and it's not in B. So where is it? It's in the empty set, right? It's, it's equal to the empty set, right? This doesn't make any sense, right? You can't have an element that's in a set and not in the set, so this must be, this set must be empty. It must contain no elements, right? Because this is what it means for an element to be in this set. So we have to have an element that's in A. Who cares about that? But we have to have an element that's not in B, and it's also in B. There are no such elements. They don't exist. So the set must have no elements, so it must be the empty set. That's it. I hope this video has helped improve your proof writing skills. Until next time, take care.